Hi, this is Sandy with the paragliding vlog for July 4th, 2018. And uh, I was going to go back up to the meadow, but I just didn't have it in me. So I decided to go into the rotor park, which is actually a ballpark. So I got the wing up. I had some spectators, so it was kind of important that I look sort of professional. <laughs> and uh, it's not a very big park, so I ran out of room fairly quickly. But uh, there was hardly any wind, so that made it a little bit more pleasant. The only problem with no wind is uh, I have to set up the wing to launch position. It. I can pull it a little bit and get it to straighten out like I just did there, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a little more work. Um, generally, I don't disconnect from the harness anymore. I just kind of hold the lines and go around and move the wing into position. So, here goes another one. And up it goes. Well, we got some little bit of a breeze up there, I think. Pulling it around, but I corrected it. More or less. It seems silly, but uh, actually, uh, I am learning a lot. And a lawnmower guy came over and talked to me for a bit, so I had to stop uh, recording. Uh, I have very little video because uh, my battery was low. I didn't realize it at the time, but uh, I did manage to get a little bit here. getting my riser straightened out. It's, it's a little hard to gauge the wind here because there's a, a bit of a breeze coming around those trees there. When it's blowing harder from the northwest, you get a lot of rotor in here. But even with the calm conditions, uh, I noticed there was a bit for sure. There I am, running, running, running. And getting a little bit air. <laughs> Got to show off for the spectators. There was quite a few people gawking. There's a restaurant near, just on the top of the hill here, so I know a few people were watching. Here it is in slow motion, and I'm still pushing, pushing, pushing. That's very important, I found out, to just keep pushing, um, keep going, keep trying to go even if you're not moving, because the wind needs that pressure there. I'm able to get a little bit of air on the flat, which I was quite happy about. Uh, I just kind of got into the rotor from that tree, I think, a little bit. It started pulling my wing over right away. And there's a little bit of space left, so I thought I'd just continue. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing uh, a little bit of torpedo stance. Um, because I'm going to be motoring, the torpedo stance isn't really going to be so important in the future, so uh, it's it's nice to do, though. It feels good to uh, lean, in, lean over and get all that um, strength to pull up you know, to pull up the wing, especially in no wind conditions. Um, the wind comes in behind these trees here from the northwest. So, knowing this, I'm going to turn into it. You'll see me turn slightly just to counteract the effects of it. And here we go. Leaning forward a little bit again, jumping around. There, I'm turning into it. And I probably could have turned a little bit more. And here's a slow, uh, slow motion. I'm feeling pretty confident. Uh, I'm going to go down to the um, fly-in, which is a big air show here that happens every year and uh, pull the wing around a little bit um, 
maybe entertain some people, I'm not sure. <laughs> Either they'll be laughing at me or applauding, whatever. We'll see. <laughs> so, uh, I figured I'd better get a little bit more practice in. Because uh, the following few days are going to be rainy and miserable up until the day of the fly-in. So. Anyway, so uh, shortly the video will stop. The camera ran out. I've got enough of a breeze there to pull it up in reverse, but uh, like I said, really rotary there. Um, way better with a harness here, but if the wind is strong, I would never harness up because there's power lines downwind. Um, would be really, really dangerous. And fences and all kinds of other things. So, there you have it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye now.